but I've created the time available to be a member of the student government. But I also want to act upon the changes that we didn't get to finish currently. There's issues that we could resolve, and I'll basically be the big brother to whoever wins. I'll work hard until December when I finish my term, and I feel like I'll be a really good asset. I know pretty much the whole school, and there's very few people that don't know about me, and I'm basically always in this room, so you can find me here, you can come and socialize, and I look forward to the next semester. Thank you. I'm Thomas, and I'm, I am a business major. Um, okay, so I wasn't interested in politics in last year because I was a slacker. So the reason why I became interested in politics because by the end of last summer, I had a GPA of 1.5, and, and a lot of teachers started helping me because I really want to stay in the school. So, so when I raised, they helped me raise my GPA up, and it, it's called communication. So I really want to help uh, communicate with students because as a student, you are just like me. We all have the same course. We all take the same course. So I really want to help motivate you because I used to be in that place. I procrastinate, but I don't procrastinate anymore because I want to be in the same top. I want to aim for the top. First year student majoring in business administration and I feel like my great leadership skills and communication with students will all benefit me you know uh, to be your vice president to make sure your voice are heard your vote equals one voice that will be heard Mueller, I'm a first year um, urban studies and the reason why I want to be president is because I do a lot of work outside of school I work with the CUNY dreamers CUNY dreamers are undocumented students who want financial aid and so this is, uh, CUNY Dreamers is very important to me, and I want to connect it to uh, Gutman because Gutman is, has supported CUNY, um, has supported all the activities Dreamers have done, and really this is a good connection to make not only with students in Gutman, but students who want to come to Gutman, students who are lost and don't know where to go. So I want to focus on the future generations. Kelsa, but uh, most of the people from me because it's easier for them to talk, call me. And um, I'm majoring in IT, and um, I was in high school, I was the president, but it was kind of like cool. Uh, the most funny part is that I didn't give a speech that day because I forgot, I mean, I had the speech on my hand, but I got nervous and didn't, I didn't say anything. So what I did was ask questions. So I, I think like the speech doesn't matter as long as you know what the students, if you ask the student what they want, so. I'm Shannon again. I'm a liberal arts major. I want to be president because my first year at Gutman, I really messed up. I didn't take advantage of any of the opportunities that Gutman can give you, and I want to help people take advantage of those opportunities. Like, I finished my first year with below a 2.0 GPA. It was bad, and by taking advantage of what Gutman has to offer, I brought it up to almost a 3.5. It's like a 3.485 right now. So I want to help people be able to do that. And I also think that this is a really good opportunity for me to like, develop my still forming personality because I'm still very young and I don't know what I want to do. I don't know who I want to be. So I think this will help me. Everyone from high school, you go up, you go up and you go visit and you go hang out. But this is the place that I realized that I can actually be something. I can actually succeed. I can actually make a difference. I could stop being a foolish kid and grow up. So I always say, like, I, I really want to stay here. I want to stay here. I want to stay here. But it's got me to realize also that 
I need to leave. I need to grow up. So I'm looking forward to graduating soon and helping them succeed in their endeavors. Opening it to everyone who is you know, running for a senior position. Um, so my question is, um, do you value um, school spirit? And uh, do you think that the government has um, enough school spirit at the moment? And if not, uh, what steps would you take in order to you know, increase school spirit in the school? Um, if there was government underwear, I'd have every color. <laughs> I, I just want to mention that, like, if four out of the five days you see me rocking at least government gear all the time, I came in with my hoodie above my dress clothes because I feel like we need to get the word out. Government's a really special place, and everyone in New York should know about it. Me, I'm not sure, but obviously everyone goes to the school over here, so I'm not exactly sure how they felt about the school. So. But the best I can do is represent the school body, student body. Um, I represent the school, and I get 150% represented outside of government. Um, I think it's a Get them involved in like clubs and activities, you know, host events, you know, bring the school, the students together, and you know, help bring them, build up that school spirit we have, and build it up much stronger. Yeah, I think I sort of mentioned it earlier. I'll talk about how to touch back on it. I don't remember what I said, but um, basically, how would I get kids to be more involved in school spirit? Um, really, just show them what gum is about. Show them how great gum is and the opportunities they can get here. Again, like Model Senate, I went and I loved it. It's, um, and because nobody knew about government and, and Model Senate, I was just like proud of it, like telling tell them, especially because government's unique, the structure. So I know some people don't like it because they don't understand it at first. But once you explain it to them, show them how great it could be for them, I feel like then people are gonna be proud and they're gonna start showing their school spirit. So first, show them what we can offer. And if they like it, then they'll be proud to say they're a government student.
the government has to offer, they'll be proud to say they go here. Because I think one day this place will be not just a community college, but like somewhere that people go to start their lives.